Hello everyone, in this video we will show how to model Pelton Turbine using SOLIDWORKS 2016. This is our Pelton Turbine that we are showing you how to model step by step. So first go into SOLIDWORKS then tap new part because we are designing a single part at the beginning. Then after that set your dimensions to be millimeters at the bottom there. Then add a sketch and choose a plane. We will choose a top of plane. After that we will sketch simple lines and add dimensions to them. We will use something called spline to draw a curve that links between all of these lines we just drew, just like this. Then tap escape. After that we will trim all the parts that we don't need using a trim. Then you either tap enter or click the check mark at the right. After that, we go into Feature, Revolve, select the axis that we want to, to revolve around, then we choose 180 degrees, and we need to flip it, so we go on the left side and click that button. There. Now we want to mirror this to the other side, so we go on to Reference Geometry, Click on a plane, then choose the dimensions to move it to other side. We will choose the dimensions to be 12.7. So we go onto the left side and choose 12.7. After that, we will go onto mirror under. Uh, linear pattern we will choose that surface to mirror to the other side then tap the check mark over there and here we go we want to make a hole on that shape so we will use something called shell and choose the surface that we want to make a hole on which is that surface then choose our diameter Then tap enter. This is how it will look like. We need a new plane to sketch on, so we will go on reference geometry, select a plane, and set our dimensions. Then we either go onto sketch bar, uh, select the uh, plane, and sketch on it, or we simply go on that plane and right click sketch. After that, we change the view of our part to be front of view. Then we draw our sketch here using lines and a spline. Alright, so now we will go on to uh, features extrude cut and uh, flip it to all the way to other side the other side and uh, click enter 
There we go. Now we will choose another plane and uh, change our view to be left. After that, we will add our sketch and extrude it. We choose offset and reverse it and uh, we sketch and add our dimensions to it. Just a random sketch. And uh, choose a line to link between these two. Then we go into features, choose extrude bus, and uh, choose midpoint, and set our dimensions. Then we will use something called fillet to fillet all the edges. We will choose every single edge alone and then tap enter. So we select all the edges to make a fillet on them. There we have our part with all fillets on. After that, we want to mirror um, that part here to the left side using that plane. We select just like this. There we go. It looks perfect. We will choose another view, say left view, to draw a circle in between of uh, this shape. Select the circle and just uh, draw it here. We will set the dimensions of the circles to be a diameter of 120 and the center between the circle, the center of the circle and the edge to be 63. We'll go into features, extrude boss to extrude that circle we just made into a mid plane and set our dimensions then tap enter. There we go. We want to revolve that part around the circle, so we will choose something called circular pattern and choose the edges that we want to revolve it around, like say this edge on the circle. We can actually change the number of times you want to revolve it um, from here, but let's keep it 15. We tap on geometry pattern down there on the left side and click enter as simple as this you may need to save your work frequently in order not to lose your work again we will go into the front plane and sketch a circle on the center just tap on the surface you want to sketch on then from the center create a circle that you want to extrude set its dimensions and then go into features to extrude it again setting dimensions and click check there we have it extruded. We want to draw another circle but smaller than the previous one and extrude it as well, just the same way we did before. There we have it. Now we also want to draw um, several circles in between these two circles we just did 
and extrude them uh, all the way to the other side. We now set the dimensions for the circle, then features, extrude cut. Um, we choose through all. Then we choose a circular pattern to revolve it around that uh, circle. So it looks like many circles, so we can edit it by going to the previous thing and create a right click, tap edit, and uh, reduce the number of circles. There we go. We now want to uh, create a, a hole in the center. So we trim the parts we don't need and uh, go set dimensions. After that, we go into features, extrude cut. Again, through all. There, we have our first part ready. Now we go on SOLIDWORKS, click a new part, and uh, choose dimensions of course. Select a plane, any plane. Just draw a simple circle with a known dimensions. Set our dimensions just to fit the small circle in the middle. Then we go into features, extrude cut. We set our dimensions, our length of that and save it. And finally, we go on a new assembly to add them up together. So we go and browse for them. We choose this type first because it's, uh, it is fixed. And then we look for the second part and then mate them together. So we will choose something called mate. So we want this cylinder to go inside this part right over here. Um, it moves like this, but we don't want it to move inside and out. So we, we use something called lock down there. We lock them together there it won't move and here is our Pilton turbine designed using SOLIDWORKS thank you for watching